Welcome back to my channel. My name's Rod Clark, former Australian Masters track athlete, previous coach to an Australian Olympic athlete, and just a guy with an interest in sports performance and all things health and fitness. So I read a blog the other day, and one of the things I wanted to chat about was my five top exercises to strengthen your butt, basically. Um, not only to strengthen your butt to try and increase you know the overall muscle on your butt um, as we age the one thing that tends to happen is our our we lose a lot of um, muscle bulk in our butt and as a male in our legs in particular um, even though we might actually start to put on weight in our butt the overall muscle starts to deplete and that's for two things one we stop using our butt um, we get very lazy and in the way we we tend to stand up and sit down and um, one of the th things you can notice about people is when they sit down, you know, you stand up and instead of actually being able to lower themselves down, this flopping sensation tends to happen. Um, and I recall chatting to a friend of mine years ago and his girlfriend had that classic, you know, and I said to her, watch her sit down on the sofa. She just can't actually lower herself down. She just drops down. She's actually switched off her glutes altogether. And it becomes a problem with a lot of people. You know, I've got an athlete at home I used to work with, a very good athlete. He's actually went to the Olympic Games in the Winter Olympics for Australia in the bobsled team. And he's, you know, got a mass, massive butt. His glutes are huge. And he still can't switch one side on. So we get these triggers that actually turn that off sometimes. And the firing, um, the correct firing um, sequence actually starts to switch off. So it's also something we need to, to, uh, to work on. But look, I'm not going to ramble on about this too much. I do have a post which I'll link to below, which you can actually go and read in more detail. But just quick five exercises, and I'll post some links to some videos of these, not my videos. I've actually gone around to YouTube and picked up some people that I follow and just other videos that have done a good job explaining these exercises. But number one, the reverse lunge. Um, I started to do these again some time ago. I always used a forward lunge, um, and I noticed my knees were starting to get quite sore from forward lunges, so I started to use reverse lunges, and I s instantly noticed how much it fired my glutes up. Um, I used to work with a physical therapist back in Australia many years ago that ran interesting physical therapy rehab classes. And one of the things we used to do a lot of was reverse lunges. A reverse lunge with a toe tap at the back basically um, and often holding just a very soft ball out in front and you had to keep your, your pelvis stable and your hips stable and be able to actually put your foot back and just touch your toe on the ground multiple times and forward um, but I love reverse lunges they don't tend to get your knees as much they do fire up you know they're still stabilizing that whole hip and lower abdominal area um, your pelvic floor but they do get your glutes um, nicely and you can actually load those up further by holding a set of dumbbells um, and any other resistance you know uh, weight you may have around putting a, a backpack on your shoulders and so forth um, the second one which I've listed here is the single leg glute bridge um, for those of you that don't know what that is it's a pretty simple exercise it's you know technically laying on your back feet bent um, flat on the floor, knees bent, sorry, flat on the, with your feet flat on the floor, lifting one leg up in the air so it's out straight and then bridging up with your hips um, into a, you know, uh, position so your hips are coming up off the floor. And you're just repeating that, you know, multiple times on each time. If you can only do one, you can only do one. If you can do 30, you can potentially do 30. Um, again, I'll link it to a video on that or someone giving a good example and talking through that quite, quite well. Squat jumps is another one I love. Um, and I just gave this to a friend of mine the other day, the athlete I was speaking about, he's having some problems with his adductors at the moment. Uh, they're switching on all the time and his glutes aren't actually doing majority of the work or doing that sequencing of firing. So, but the squat jump, you can do this hands across the chest, which is my preferred position. Even if I hold a weight, I tend to hold it here. Um, I like to hold onto a plate and put it across my chest. I hold my hands and do squat jumps. Um, and it's that explosive movement. You know, you're dropping down, your hips are going quite low. You're pushing back up. The one thing that most people make the mistake uh, when they're trying to do these is their knees actually collapsing with on that push movement. I was watching the CrossFit Games the other day and they were doing a lot of thrusters. And, you know, male and female athletes, 
it's more common with a female athlete because of the the valgus angle of their legs that they will tend to collapse in a little bit but men when they get fatigued tend to do it as well so you need to really concentrate when you actually in the squat jump jump when you do land on the ground that you are trying to forcefully immensely push your knees out as you actually come back up in the air um this is not a speed thing this is just a nice slow control thing you will find this sends your heart rate through the roof so it's a really good like you know hit movement i like to use them in circuits quite a lot um, but they are definitely a good movement to actually and to fire your glutes i mean a lot of the stuff we're talking about here is this slow controlled movements this becomes a more explosive movement so using your glutes in a more firing manner um, the fourth one is lateral band walks it's one of the things that will definitely light up the outside your glute mead um, and you know just activate your glutes we sit so much during the day now our glutes just turn off and do nothing when we're sitting down and a lot of people when they walk they walk with their hips pushed so far forward so their glutes actually deactivate they've turned their lower core muscles off and their um you know abdominal muscles and the pelvic floor their hips are just dropped forward and their glutes just become floppy and soft um, it's an interesting little thing to try yourself stand up push your hips so it's it's a term they call hanging off your hips push your hips into the front of your body and just hang on them and then feel what happens to your glutes they completely shut down so you often see people that you know they look like they've got a bigger bum and they actually don't um, it's just because they hang off their hips and sit into them if they learn to actually tilt that pelvis ever so slightly back and control the hips um, and the, the the pelvic floor their bum actually lights up and actually becomes more shapely straight away so that's a good little trick when you're standing around don't hang on your hips um, so yeah lateral band walks again I've posted a video of that it's basically using one of those you know the glute loop by Brett Contreras I think his name is um, or any sort of band that goes around your knees and doing the side crab walks either one leg at a time or multiple legs um, either or I tend to use these to warm up I used to do them all the time before I warmed up for squatting um, which I felt really beneficial I used to activate my glutes fire them up get that sequencing going again um, and I found it really beneficial the other exercise I really love is stairs you can run them, walk them, do whatever you want. Take two at a time. I don't care. But anytime you get a chance to walk up and down stairs and think about your pelvis not actually dropping to one side, but when you're pushing, pushing through your heel and activating your glute. Um, again, you know, if you can do multiples, if you can run up and walk down, you can get 10 of those out. If you've got a local staircase, great. If it's only one you can do, that's fine as well. Um, if you're walking up them, you know, perfect. But any chance you get, I do recommend going upstairs. If you work in an office, and it's one thing we used to do, I worked in corporate many years in Australia, um, was try and take the stairs between floors. You know, don't jump in the, in the lift or the elevator or escalator, just try and jump in the stairs. So I'll post a link below um, to the actual blog so you can actually read it as well. Um, and there's also some links to videos that will actually help you out in terms of the correct technique in doing these. It's just some people I've chosen off YouTube that I thought did quite a good job at explaining these. Yeah, so there's my top five things to do for your glutes. I just think that it's an important um, muscle to continue to use as we get older. I think one of the things we do do, we just, you know, with all the sitting we do today, we don't get to use our glutes anywhere near as much. Um, and we don't focus on them. So many people just, you know, think it's just a muscle, that, we, but it's the biggest muscle in the body and it needs to be worked. So anyway, that's all for me today. I will post another video next week. I hope once I get a bit of a roll going and get familiar with this and better at editing, I will start to post more frequently, maybe at twice a week. Um, I